Toss-up question 295. Bakken is from the Norwegian word bak. What does it mean in English? Audience, please be quiet. Adam, go ahead. Rich. That is incorrect. <laughs> but a good guess. Time. The correct answer is Hill. Toss-up 296. Hill. Name the engineer who discovered oil in Persia in 1908, opening up oil development. Robert? George Reynolds. That is correct. <laughs> Bonus 149. For 10 points each, name the two companies that merged with Total to make the company that it is today. Elf and Petrofina. That is correct. <laughs> Toss up 297. In 2001, what Petrobras platform exploded and sank into the ocean off the coast of Brazil? Audience, please. Go ahead, Cliff. SG40. That is not correct. The correct answer is P36. Toss up 298. Name the device that is sometimes used near the wellhead of high pressure gas wells and keeps hydrates from forming within the choke and flow line. The correct answer is line heater. Toss up 299. In 1956, Matthews and Lefkowitz investigated reservoirs producing under gravity drainage. What is the hyperbolic exponent, B or N, that they assigned to wells with single zone production under gravity drainage with a secondary gas cap? Zero point. Zero point five. Your light didn't go on, but it was a red team answer. Go ahead. 0 0.5. That is correct. Yeah. Bonus 150. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're having electronic difficulties. Yeah, I pushed it. It's okay, right, we'll take care of it. Bonus you can, 150. You can stop now. <laughs> For 10 points, risers are significantly impacted by what hydrodynamic phenomenon that is caused by wave and eddy currents? The acronym is VIV. For 10 more points, name the device used to mitigate or prevent this effect. Okay, VIV is velocity induced vibration and the device is tensioners. That is incorrect. It's vortex induced vibration and strakes or fairings. Can we stop the clock real quick and just have a quick test of the buzzers again? We stopped? Okay. Go ahead, Robert. Yep, that works. Okay. Yep. Yep. Get them, bro, man. Okay. We're good. Toss up 300. In geophysics, a rock's acoustic impedance is calculated by multiplying rock density by what? Marcus. Uh, velocity. That is correct. <laughs> Bonus visual number 12. For 20 points, name this type of rock which crystallizes from molten rock or magma with interlocking mineral crystals. It is typically comprised of the minerals quartz, mica, feldspar, amphibole, pyroxene, and olivine. Uh, 
Obsidian? That is incorrect. The correct answer is igneous rock. Oh. What? <laughs> Toss up 301. Toss up 301. Name the method that combines early transient flow with boundary dominated late time. Jackie. Diagnostic plot. That is incorrect. I'll finish the sentence. Question. With boundary dominated late time flow in rate time plots. Robert, go ahead. Horner analysis. That is incorrect. Correct answer is Fetkovich method. Toss up 302. Mostly used in surface casing cementing, this piece of equipment helps to support the cement column in the annulus while cementing in weak porous formations. Ryan. A cement basket. That is correct. <laughs> Bonus 151. For 20 points, if the cement fails to rise uniformly around the casing and borehole wall, leaving open spaces devoid of cement, what condition has just occurred? Audience, please silence. Um, gas fallout? That is incorrect. The correct answer is channeling. Toss up 303. A hydraulic fracturing fluid is set to be energized when this component is added to it. Cliff. Nitrogen. Judges? Okay. We'll accept that answer. <laughs> Bonus. Bonus calculation question number 32. A flow after flow test was conducted on a reservoir with an average pressure of 3,000 PSI. The reservoir engineer calculated C and N to be 0 0.02 million standard cubic feet per day per PSI squared and 0 0.7 respectively. For 20 points, what is the absolute open flow of the well? Answer, please. 10 million a day. That is incorrect. The correct answer is 1,475 million a day. Toss up 304. Name the curve that is used for representation of the solid vapor equilibrium in a phase diagram of a pure component. Correct answer is sublimation pressure curve. Toss up 305. In terms of facilities and well integrity, what are the two most corrosive compounds that can compromise equipment and... Jackie. Salt and hydrogen sulfide. That is incorrect. The two most corrosive compounds that can compromise equipment and hardware. Adam. H2S and CO2. That is correct. Okay, let's do this bonus question. Bonus 152. For 10 points each, name the two coefficients that are a common measure of permeability variation in petroleum engineering.
tortuosity, and cementation. That is incorrect. Correct answers are Dijkstra Parsons coefficient, Lorenz coefficient, or Gilhard Axis. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a small break. Okay. The score right now is 60 to 20. Yeah. Yeah.